just to linger on the term AGI, what, what to you is the difference between AGI and human level intelligence? Uh, human level is general in the domain of expertise of humans. Mm -hmm. We know how to do human things. I don't speak dog language. I should be able to pick it up if I'm a general intelligence. It's kind of inferior animal. I should be able to learn that skill, but I can't. A general intelligence, truly universal general intelligence, should be able to do things like that humans cannot do. To be able to talk to animals, for example. To solve pattern recognition problems of that type, to do other similar things outside of our domain of expertise because it's just not the world we live in. If we just look at the space of cognitive abilities we have, I just would love to understand what the limits are beyond which an AGI system can reach. Like, what does that look like? What about actual mathematical thinking or uh, scientific innovation, that kind of stuff? We know calculators are smarter than humans in that narrow domain of addition. But is it humans plus tools versus AGI or just human, raw human intelligence? Because humans create tools and with the tools they become more intelligent. So like with, with there, there's a gray area there what it means to be human when we're measuring their intelligence. So when I think about it, I usually think human with like a paper and a pencil, not human with internet and another AI helping. But is that a fair way to think about it? Because isn't there another definition of human level intelligence that includes the tools that humans create? But we create AI. So at any point, you'll still just add super intelligence to human capability. That seems like cheating. No, controllable tools. There is there is an implied leap that you're making when AGI goes from tool to a uh, entity that can make its own decisions. So if we define human level intelligence as everything a human can do with fully controllable tools. It seems like a hybrid of some kind. You're now doing brain computer interfaces, you're connecting it to maybe narrow AI. So yeah, it definitely increases our capabilities. So what's a good test to you that uh, measures whether uh, an artificial intelligence system has reached human level intelligence? And what's a good test where it has superseded human level intelligence to reach that land of AGI? I am old fashioned. I like Turing test. I have you a do. paper where I equate passing Turing test to solving AI complete problems because you can encode any questions about any domain into the Turing test. You don't have to talk about how was your day. You can ask anything. And so the system has to be as smart as a human to pass it in a true sense. But then you would extend that to uh, maybe a very long conversation. I think the Alexa prize was doing that. Basically, can you do a 20 minute, 30 minute conversation with an AI system? It has to be long enough to where you can make some meaningful decisions about capabilities, absolutely. You can brute force very short conversations. So like, literally, what does that look like? Can we do, uh, can we construct formally a kind of test that tests for AGI? For AGI, it has to be there. I cannot give it a task I can give to a human, and it cannot do it if a human can. For super intelligence, it would be superior on all such tasks, not just average performance. So like, go learn to drive car, go speak Chinese, play guitar. Okay, great. I guess the, the follow-on question, is there a test for the kind of AGI that would be uh, susceptible to lead to S risk or X risk, susceptible to destroy human civilization. Like, is there a test for that? You can develop a test which will give you positives if it lies to you or has those ideas. You cannot develop a test which rules them out. There is always possibility of what Bostrom calls a treacherous turn, where later on a system decides for game theoretic reasons, economic reasons to change its behavior, and we see the same with humans. It's not unique to AI. For millennia, we tried developing morals, ethics, religions, uh, lie detector tests, and then employees betray the employer, spouses betray family. It's a pretty standard thing intelligent agents sometimes do. So is, there, is it possible to detect when an AI system is lying or deceiving you? 
if you know the truth and it tells you something false, you can detect that, but you cannot know in general every single time. And again, the system you're testing today may not be lying. The system you're testing today may know you are testing it and so behaving. And later on, after it interacts with the environment, interacts with other systems, malevolent agents, learns more, it may start doing those things. So do you think it's possible to develop a system where the creators of the system, the developers, the programmers, don't know that it's deceiving them? So systems today don't have long-term planning. That yes. is not our. They can lie today if it optimizes, helps them optimize the reward. If they realize, okay, this human will be very happy if I tell them the following, they will do it if it brings them more points. And they don't have to kind of keep track of it. It's just the right answer to this problem every single time. At which point is somebody creating that intentionally? not unintentionally, intentionally creating an AI system that's doing long-term planning with an objective function that's defined by the AI system, not by a human. Well, some people think that if they're that smart, they're always good. They really do believe that. It's just benevolence from intelligence. So they'll always want what's best for us. Some people think that uh, they will be able to detect problem behaviors and correct them at the time when we get there. I don't think it's a good idea. I am strongly against it, but yeah, there are quite a few people who in general are so optimistic about this technology, it could do no wrong. They want it developed as soon as possible, as capable as possible. So there's going to be people who believe the more intelligent it is, the more benevolent, and so therefore it should be the one that defines the objective function that it's uh, optimizing when it's doing long-term planning. There are even people who say, okay, what's so special about humans, right? We removed the gender bias. We're removing race bias. Why is this pro-human bias? We are polluting the planet. We are, as you said, you know, fight a lot of wars, kind of violent. Maybe it's better if this super intelligent perfect uh, society comes and replaces us. It's normal stage in the evolution of our species. Yeah, so somebody says, uh, let's develop an AI system that removes the violent humans from the world. And then it turns out that all humans have violence in them or the capacity for violence and therefore all humans are removed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>